Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I don't even think I should say that anymore. Can you still say that? Today we are starting a brand spanking new series on this channel. This is officially season one, episode one, of Tattoo Artist Breakdown. So I hear you wonder, what is Tattoo Artist Breakdown? Well, you know, as good as I am, like, I'm just like, oh, chef's kiss phenomenal. Fuck off out of here. There's a lot, lot better artists out there than just me. So I thought to myself, what better way, and I don't think this has been done by the way, possibly wrong, most likely I'm wrong, but I thought to myself, why not look at the upper echelon of tattoo artists? The, the guys that have got 100,000 followers, 200,000 followers, upwards of a million followers on Instagram. Let's look at their work, let's break it down together. So, I know you're already asking, who is? the luckiest person alive to be featured on this channel first. Who is the one that is going to be kicking off season one, episode one? Well, let's go to the computer. Okay, so here we are at the computer and the first lucky chappy to be broken down on this channel is going to be Fred Wayne Thomas aka Fred underscore tattoo. Now, as you can see from his Instagram, he is just phenomenal. That's just looking at his first six on his feed. Now, Fred tattoos out of exotic tattoo Mercia, and he is from Spain, I do believe. Now, I followed Fred since he went viral. I think he went viral with like an Opie tattoo or a Clint Eastwood tattoo or something like that. And I've followed him since then and he just gets better and better and better. I mean, briefly, just looking over his feed, look at his top nine. Like, the, the guy's just incredible. So without further ado, let's get straight into the breakdown by looking at the very first one on his feed, which is this seriously awesome like leather face. Like, I was lost words then, like seriously awesome leather face. So let's just go back to the beginning and we'll pause it there. See that? Like, just, I'm so prepared. I've got my, I'm so prepared. I've got my notes already. Anybody would think that I'd already gone through and nitpicked what I wanted to say. So, so before we start, I might point out that I may be completely off, all right? What I say in these videos aren't going to be gospel. It's not the way that they do it. I've also never spoke to these artists. I've, I have no insight into these artists. I'm literally looking at the picture as you guys are looking at it and I'm breaking it down to see what we can learn from it. So, how many times do I have to say so? So, 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 so. Anyways, let's get into it. <laughs> I was just going to say so again then. But here we have a leather face done by Fred underscore tattoo. We will just refer to him as Fred. Instantly off the bat, looking at this tattoo, what can we see? Well, the white really, really, really stands out. What I'm also noticing is that he doesn't just use white for his highlights. He also uses white as a tone, almost like a light tone that you can see on skin. So as you can see around the nose area, that is not put in with a liner or down here. That's possibly done with a round shader, maybe, maybe a small round shader or a liner, but something like this on the nose, getting in close, something like this on the nose, that's definitely been put in with a mag. Um, these bits around here are also done with a mag. Um, Possibly all this is highlights, so those will be done with a, um, a free round liner, maybe, maybe a Type 5 or something. Um, but yeah, he, he definitely uses a lot of white. 
Now, personally myself, I don't use a lot of white. I tend to stick white in wet areas. So if I'm working on a face, it would be in the eyes. If I'm working on a animal, it would generally be on the nose and in the eyes. I was for a long time completely against putting too much white into a piece because it's just not gonna, you know, it's just not gonna show when it's healed. So it was unnecessary for me to be putting it in, whereas a white highlight does show. But packing white a long time ago, it had the tendency to, to turn yellow and stuff. But you know, things have advanced these days, so maybe it's not the same. But yeah, Fred uses a a lot of white. Now whether that white is a 50-50 mix between white and water, which I highly doubt because the white is pretty prominent, I don't know. But to me it does look like he rocks 100% white and he's just literally packing it in. The only thing that I wouldn't do, the only thing that I wouldn't do on this piece is to put that much white in the eye. Just looking at the eye right now, Putting too much white in the eye would give the portrait a more plastic feel and I do, in my tattoos, want to keep some realism aspect in there but, you know, I I cannot knock this tattoo, like this tattoo is absolutely crazy, it is just personal preference when it comes to something like that. Okay, now getting a closer look, instantly, instantly, what do we see? Well, we see lines tons and tons of lines now as you can see coming around the mouth this is lined under here the texture coming down this way is lined in those cracks and those wrinkles there's texture in the in the forehead which is lined it's lined around the eyes it's lined down here lines are pretty prominent in Fred's work Looking at the piece, it's almost like Fred literally lines his entire stencil. Now, if you pay close attention, you can see that this line is pretty black. And he may have done that in a black ink to line the outline of the mouth. Same down here, and then same like up above in the eyebrow area. And then he's possibly, although it looks black, I do think he might have used just a dark wash to get the wrinkles in because that, unless the wrinkles are really deep, who knows, who knows. But to me, it, it potentially looks like he's just used a dark wash for those wrinkles. He's not used a dark wash underneath the eye, definitely not. That's more like a, a medium wash. And then he's definitely used a light wash to get all, these, all this texture in. Now, another thing that we notice about Fred's work is the direction he gets in his shading. You can see coming round this way, the direction. You can see coming down this way, the direction. Around here, he gets all his direction. Across the nose, over the forehead, he shades in the direction that the tone is going, which is really, really good. Now with something like this, a leather face mask, it's not like the skin needs to be super, super smooth. So it also kind of looks like what he's done is slowed his mag down and got the extra stippliness in the actual tattoo itself. Now he could have gone in with a three and done all this stipple with a free liner, but with a piece being like this and so big, it would be a lot easier to do it with a mag. So I'm gonna put it out there that he may have done it all with a mag and just got the general textured areas with a liner and a round shader. But yeah, as you can see, Fred seems to line everything. So let's move over to a different piece. Let's just see if we can find any consistencies between this piece and another. Okay, here is the next piece. So here you can see instantly the lines in the feathers. You can see the lines in this bit. You can see all the lines in this headdress. You can also see the lines in the wrinkles, around the nose, around the eyes, down the bottom again. So as you can see, Fred is extremely consistent with his lines. He seems to line just about everything about his stencil, apart from obviously the obvious areas like this skin 
here. Now what he also does consistently between the two pieces that we've looked at is he saturates really, really well. There's not very much skin break. Now there's, there's a skin break on the nose here and there's a skin break like under the eye here, one here, but this tattoo's not finished. I do suspect that this would be a place where he'd put his white and saturate and saturate with his white if we're going off the previous piece that is. Right, onto the next one, and here we have a flow kit tattoo. Again, consistency, lines. He's lining his he's lining in his wrinkles, he's lined in the hair, he's lined in the beard. And then what he's done is gone over that beard with his washers or whatever he's whatever he's using. It definitely looks like he lines over these areas and then shades into them also. P potentially putting his mag on the side and getting some direction in the hair also with that as well as the lines. Again, he's lined underneath the eyes, he's lined around the nose, he's lined around the lips, maybe a mid wash. And here we can see on this one, he's relatively smooth because the skin doesn't call for the texture that we saw in the leather face mask. Same with this one, if we go back to this one, it's relatively smooth, it doesn't call for the, you know, the skin to be textured like that mask were, so, you know, he's really, really, really good. And that was Fred underscore tattoo on Instagram. Everybody go and drop him a follow. He is just, seriously, he is a phenomenal artist. Like these breakdowns can't be too long, by the way. Like I just want to look at the picture and just give you my initial thoughts. Because then if you want to go and try these things, then you know you can you can introduce that into your work and practice it and you know see how it works out for you but that is Fred Tattoo I hope you've enjoyed the first episode of this tattoo artist breakdown I'm sure as we go along in the episodes they'll get better and better and better but for the first breakdown yeah it wasn't too bad you know it wasn't too bad I will add, I will add that if you look back on this video, you will see one of the best fundamentals of black and grey, that being he doesn't go too light. Anyway, if you are new around here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Also, for everybody, don't forget to turn on bell notifications to get notified every time I upload a new video. Like this video, share this video, comment on this video, push this video out, and, and, I shall seize you all in the next one. Peace.